welcome to my nursery tour. I am so excited about this video. This is probably the most um, anticipated video for me anyway. Phil and I have had heaps of fun putting it together and I am really happy with it and I'm so excited to show you guys our baby boy's nursery. to bring your attention to is what I am most obsessed about in this nursery and it is these gorgeous eucalyptus wall decals that you can see behind me and I actually search the internet far and wide for decals there are so many on the market and they really range in price so you can find some really cheap ones but then you'll also come across some more expensive ones now I came across these ones from Olive et Oriel and I was just instantly obsessed. It was nothing like what I had seen before because I knew that I was looking for some sort of leafy type of decal, but I didn't want it to be A, too green and B, I wanted different sized leaves. I didn't want like sort of a, too much of a uniform patterned look. I didn't want them all to be exactly the same size, exactly the same leaves. And this just absolutely fit the brief that I had in my head. So Olive et Oriel kindly gifted these decals to us and we only needed the one packet to fill up that um, one wall because um, it's only a 2.9 meter wall um, and it was more than enough to fill up that one side. We actually cut around each one and used some blue tack to kind of um, to place it on the wall and then play around with it and then when we were happy with it we stuck it on the wall and they're really easy to apply. And the other thing that they gifted us with is these three really cute prints. So these prints and the wooden frame both come from the online store and they have lots of different prints so you can see uh, which ones you're happy with. And we just really liked these because we thought it suited our gender neutral nursery. So I'll have them linked in the description down below along with everything else that's in this nursery. So check it out if you're interested in anything that I mention. So moving on to this gorgeous cot. I knew that I was looking for a white cot with some timber accents because I just really like that look. And I also wanted a cot with a drop side because I'm really short. So I just know that I don't want to be bending down too low to pick up the baby, um, especially when they grow older and they actually use the lower side of the cot. Um, so I really needed a drop side and so we came across this one from babyhood and we're really happy with it um, It's exactly the look that I'm going for now We also have this waterproof cot sheet from little human linens, which was also gifted to us and they have some amazing prints like I um, Love so many of their prints that they have but the most amazing thing about these cot sheets is that they're waterproof but that they actually look nice. So you don't actually need to use the um, waterproof mattress cover along with a sheet on top. You can just use this. And in fact, um, what they recommend or what they suggest is that you can actually use two of these at the same time so that um, if the baby has a little accident, then you can just rip one off in the middle of the night and you've got a clean sheet underneath it. So you don't need to worry about doing the bed at 3 a.m. in the morning, which really appeals to me. So I am really happy with these cot sheets. I think that um, the prints are really nice. So we got this one and we also have this green cacti one as well. So we'll be using the two interchangeably. But definitely check out the other prints that they have on their website. They also have one that's really similar to our wall decals. Um, so I might think about getting that one as well. The other thing is they come really nicely packaged in a box. So they also make really good gifts for friends. Now, one thing that we did get to shop for in person before retail shut down was this nursing chair, which I am so obsessed with. I absolutely love it. I love the color. I love that not only does it rock, but it also swivels. So I thought if I'm breastfeeding 
and I need to reach this side, I can do that easily. Or if I need to reach this side, then I can do that easily as well. So um, I just really, really love it. And to go with the chair, we also have this ottoman, which is just a cheap one from Kmart. I love Kmart for simple, decorative little accents. I thought it would be good to have an ottoman so that I could put my feet up if I'm spending a lot of time on this chair. So I knew that I wanted some sort of cushion to sit on the chair as a decorative piece, but I also wanted it to be functional. This is the Boppy Pillow, and I'm sure you guys have heard of it already, but this pillowcase is just so cute. It's a lamb with little ears and you know what? It's probably going to get dirty, but I don't care. It's just so, so cute. I do have another case as well, but this one is going to be the main one. I am absolutely obsessed with this. This is from Pottery Barn Kids and it's exclusive to them. Um, I found that it was so hard to find boppy pillowcases from Australia because the Boppy Pillow is more so an American product, but I did come across this on Pottery Barn Kids and I just could not buy it. I could not not buy it. So behind me we have this little blank space here and we thought it would be nice to put a couple of decorative items on there. So we put up this Timber Moon and Rainbow, uh, which we found on Etsy and yeah, they're just cute little accents for the nursery. So moving on to my other favorite part of the nursery and it is this whole wall here. Now we did go on Pinterest and look for inspiration before putting together this nursery and we saw that a lot of people were putting up Ikea spice racks as little shelves and we just love that idea. So we basically built on that when we designed this wall. So firstly we have these two animal heads which I think are so cute. I always knew that when I have a nursery that I want to put some animals on the wall and I just love that these animals are in sort of muted tones. They're not, the colors aren't too strong or bold and I just think they're really cute. So we've got this koala and rabbit. I also really like the fabric on them as well. It's like this really nice linen type of fabric and they're both just from Target. And then next to that we have this cloud hook. So I knew that I wanted to put some hooks on the wall so that I could hang some things off it, whether they're blankets or breastfeeding covers or baby carriers. I just wanted to have that option. And we came across this random cloud hook um, online, which just happened to be from some random store down the road. Cause remember we're doing this during a pandemic and it actually goes really well with the nursery. Now from that same random store, we also came across this cloud shelf and we thought that this was also a really nice addition to the wall and would complement the Ikea spice racks. And we've just got these cute little sensory toys from Kmart, which was really cheap. And next to that, I actually have my pregnancy journal, which Phil got for me. Um, and so I thought it would be really nice to display that in the room and quite meaningful. So moving on to the Ikea spice racks and you'll see that we have one hanging upside down and one hanging the right way up. And I just love the look of hanging little clothes on the rack. I just think it's so cute. So below that we have our dresser, which we are also using as a change table. And we knew that we wanted our change table to also be a dresser because once again, this room is quite small. So storage is quite important in this room. Initially, we were going to get the one from Ikea that everyone else seems to have, but I'm really glad we came across this one instead, which is a grow time dresser. We got ours from Baby Bunting, but they have other stockists as well. I think this height is much more comfortable for me to change baby on. And it's also in this white and timber look, which goes with the whole nursery. So inside the dresser, we have these Ikea storage cubes, which really helps with organization, especially because baby clothes are so small. You really definitely need to be able to organize them. Um, but if you guys want to see a separate video on how we've organized all his clothes and stuff in the dresser, then let me know in the comments down below. So we decided on getting this change pad because aesthetically it looks so much nicer than a foam one and also functionality wise I know that it's really easy to just wipe down. 
So we decided to just spend a little bit more on a change pad that we actually like the look of. And this one happens to be from Babyhood. We also have this little night light, which was a really inexpensive one. And I like that it's small and compact and you can just pick it up and take it around with you. We know that we wanted to use the night light for late night changing and we didn't want to have to turn on the main light switch. And it's also something that we can use anywhere else in the house. So this is going to come in handy right at the very start. Next to that, we've also got a little tummy tippy nappy bin, as well as a laundry basket for baby. Now moving on to the opposite side of the room where the window is, we felt that there was this nice empty space below the windowsill that we could fill with these cubes. And we knew that we wanted to have these cubes because we wanted to be able to display books there for when baby is old enough to, for us to be reading books to him. And um, it would be also a nice decorative piece and we can fill it up and change it with different items as he grows. So at the moment, we've just got a random assortment of decorative items on and inside the cubes. And we've got these baskets at the very bottom so that we can just throw in little toys and random things. So we've also got this basket next to it, which at the moment we have our blankets in. And I'm just obsessed with these blankets. These were gifted to us from Deluso Living and they just have the cutest blankets ever. And I have actually purchased a blanket for a friend as a gift from there before and they make really nice gifts because they're um, packaged really well with a nice little ribbon. And I just think that baby blankets make really good gifts for friends. So the other thing that really makes this room is this rug, which I am absolutely obsessed with. I love the neutral colors and I love the textures of it. So we also have this cute little lamb who's just chilling on the floor and we can obviously use him for tummy time or just for baby to chill out on top of, but it is also just there for decorative purposes and is in a perfect color for the room as well. Now, speaking of tummy time and baby chilling out, we also have this silicon mat, which I am absolutely obsessed with. So we knew from the start that we wanted to get a silicon mat um, because our whole house is floorboards. We don't have any carpet. We do have some rugs, but there's not, not a lot of soft space for baby to chill out on. And so we knew that we needed a silicon mat, but I didn't want to get something that's in bright colors. I mean, I think you guys know by now, by looking at this nursery, that I'm all about neutral tones. And I just love this one from Freddie & Co because you can actually use both sides. So one side is in a neutral tone, and then the other side is in this really cool roadmap, which Phil was just obsessed with when he came across because I think it um, brings his childhood dreams to life. And I can just imagine our little boy having so much fun playing on the road map when he's a bit older. Uh, but for the meantime, and while we have the mat out, we will just be using the gray neutral side. And I'm just really happy that we have that option. And it's also something that we can move around the house as well. So the mat was gifted to us by Freddie and Co. And they also kindly sent this hooded towel which is so cute and I have been told that hooded towels come in handy for babies so this is a koala one very appropriate so that's it for my nursery tour don't forget to check out the description box if you're interested in anything that I mentioned thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and leave your comments down below I'm so excited and so happy to have shared our nursery with you and if you want me to do a separate video on how we've organized the dresser and his wardrobe as well, then let me know and I will film that as well. I also plan to film a newborn essentials video later on down the track. So if you're interested in all of that kind of content, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.